Hi! In this class, we're going to make an accordion art journal that you can later use as a nature journal or to just scribble and paint in. I'll guide you step by step so you can do it with your kids, grandkids, nephews or any other kids in your life. My name is Vera Zgunik, my nickname is Veri and I come from a tiny little country in Europe that is very green and full of nature. I love kids, nature and art, so I'm the happiest when all three combine. I have three kids that are my guinea pigs for all sorts of art activities that you're going to see in the upcoming series of classes. I have a PhD in biology and I have worked for 20 years in research in science and did art on the side. Just recently I decided to switch things up and now I'm a freelance illustrator and I do nature on the side. The kids stayed, of course. <laughs> I designed this class and all the others in the upcoming series with families in mind because I want to share the joy we have with our kids when we do our nature art or when we record our outings in our nature journals. To save all those precious memories, of course, we first need to make our nature art journal. We can make several of them in different styles or stick to the simplest style and make several variations, as you wish. In this class, I will show you how to make an accordion style nature art journal that is very simple to make but can be surprisingly decorative when displayed on a mantelpiece, on a dresser, in a nature corner on an, or on a windowsill. Or perhaps at your office to get you through the tough day. We all get those. You won't need anything special for this class. Although anyone can do it, I designed it especially with parents and kids in mind, so we'll use kids' great art supplies that kids use in school, preschool or kindergarten and that you most likely have at home if you have kids. Nothing fancy, I promise. <laughs> of course, if you wish, you can always upgrade and use the sturdy watercolor paper or even cotton paper if you prefer, instead of the kids' great watercolor paper, you can use the fancy pattern cardboard instead of recycled cardboard or you can use the artist grade paints instead of kids grade paints. But it's really not necessary to get nice results. This work will most likely never hang in a gallery, so light fastness is not our issue. We're here to have fun and create memories with our kids and any material will work for that.